Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time on Kaling's Let's Plays. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Crash arrives. And special shout-outs to our members, including our ultimates. If you guys want to hop aboard the membership train, all you got to do is click right here, select the tier that works for you, and a big thank you to our friends Activision and Toys for Bob for providing a copy of this game. Yeah. So, we're going back to the sci-fi world, and I think we're playing as Dr. Cortex today, so Ooh. let's go. Dr. Neil Cortex. Yes. <laughs> All right, so it's time for this guy. And we're going to switch to uh, the girl, just in case. Oh, boy. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, I like the music. <laughs> Must be a Mars attack. Yeah. I remember they used to sell like I don't know if they still do it, but they used to sell like um Oops. Basically like laser guns that made really like weird noises like pew, 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 pew. like really strange, like, lasery noises. Yeah. And you could buy them, like, at Walmart or Toys R Us, Target, etc. Oh my gosh. Because I remember when I had my Princess Leia costume that I did for, like, three or four years in a row when I was Princess Leia, like, every year for Halloween. Um, I'm probably, let's see, I was in Girl Scouts and stuff like that, so I don't know if I'm, like, late 90s. Or, yeah, probably late 90s. Um, so, for my Leia costume, basically I had a white dress, a hood, that I made in sewing class. I created, yeah. so that's all I could sew is the hood part of it, so I made that. That's awesome. And pinned it to my white dress. It was pretty awesome, Luke. Proud and of then, you. Actually, it wasn't a white dress. It was a white skirt and a, and a white, like, turtleneck. And then I did a white, made a white hood in mm. sewing, pinned it together, and then my brother had a little Ewok plushie that he always like basically slept with and he believed it was alive and stuff <laughs> anyway <laughs> i was mercilessly mean to him about it but looking back it was pretty adorable that he loved his little ewok plushie so it was nippet the ewok and um oh basically long story short i could not find out like the kind of like toys you guys have today where you can go and get a recreation of things from Toys R Us. Well, actually, Toys R Us is gone, so I don't really know if you, anybody has good... It's it's anymore. Jeffrey's Toy Box now. But back when I was around, I could not find any toys like that. So oh my gosh. I would have one of those laser things that looked that had all kinds of colors and was making all kinds of weird noises. Like, like really weird sounds and stuff. Mm -hmm. And that was my, my laser gun. And then... Then I went to my this party for Girl Scouts, and I thought I was going to win the costume contest because my, my costume was so awesome. Oh my gosh. Because everybody else was just a witch or whatever, and here I am, made my custom Leia costume that I wore like for so many years. Um, and here I am walking around with this Ewok, which is like, you cannot really even buy that anymore. It was from the 70s. Wow. Like, because my parents watched that in the 70s. And I had all this uh, Star Wars paraphernalia from the 70s. And stuff. Well, the, the Ewoks were from the 80s. Well, okay, fine. The 80s, whatever. So. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between the 70s and the 80s. Well, I mean, Just okay, saying. I know the first movie was in very late 70s. Like yep. It went into the 80s. And then uh, the, the second ones. one was 1980, and the third one was 1983. But anyway, a very good year. We had the Nippet Ewok. We had the... We had... We had... <laughs> We, Dang it! I used to, when we used to go to sleepovers, we had the Star Wars sleeping bags that had Empire Strikes Back on them mm -hmm. and had the whole scene of Empire Strikes Back with all these different characters on it that I do not think you could... Those must be worth a ton today because I do not think you could ever find those anywhere. Like, they are literally collector's items. Um, <sighs> oh my gosh. Please give me a continue point. Oh my gosh! No checkpoint. No checkpoint at all. Woo! Checkpoint! There we go. Okay, okay continue. So anyway, <laughs> so anyway, um, oh yes, yeah, so I have all this awesome stuff. I work so hard on my costume. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I have the best costume in the universe. Mm -hmm. It's the 90s. 
So obviously, Star Wars has been around for 10 years. People should know what it is. But this is before the new, you know, like the new ones came out. What do you call it? The, the, what do they call it? The, 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 the prequels? Version? No, 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 no. This is before the edited ones came out. Before they were re-released. Uh, there was a time in the 90s where Star Wars was re-released. They re-released it. Hmm. You didn't know that? I don't remember. Oh my gosh. They re-released it. Then everyone started getting excited. And then they had the new edition. First they re-released it. Then everyone was excited. Then they had the new edition. You just said that three times. I know. But I'm explaining to you. You don't seem to understand. So. You're not like. I understand more if you don't over explain it. Okay. But I'm just saying like. Before the new edition. I was a Star Wars fan. Before it was re-released. Oh. I was a Star Wars fan. And. I'm just explaining to you how little known Star Wars was before it was re-released again. Like, seven, ten years later, whatever. Nobody knew it. No, everyone had forgotten about Star Wars. Mm, I... Everyone in my town did! I'm explaining to you that everyone in my school, I used to talk about Star Wars, they didn't know what I was talking about. Well, you did have honors people. No, I'm talking about, I was ta I'm talking about the people in my class. No. I'm not talking about high school. I'm talking about, like, when I was younger than high school. Oh. Wow. The fact that you don't remember when Star Wars was pre-release shows that I am much more of a true fan than you. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, let's, let's not distract me too much, because I've died, like, ten times in a row. So well, Anyway, I will get to my point, and then I will be done with this. So, anyway... I don't think I, you can. My whole point is that I was... We had to walk around with our costumes, and then they judged our costumes, and... I was holding a laser gun and an Ewok, and I was wearing all white, and I was having a laser gun, and the ladies thought I was Mother Teresa. Okay. That's what I'm explaining to you, how nobody knows knew what Star Wars was back then. Okay. Wow. Nope. I just, I don't understand either they were, I don't want to say dumb as bricks, but, I mean, either they have no idea what they were talking about, or... Nobody knew what Star Wars was. Okay. Either that or it was just in my town. But. Okay. What? Why would I go over there? Uh. Oh dear. All right, I'm gonna have to look this up after this because I know it was released like several times. Okay. What? How? I don't think I can even get up there. Can I? Oh gosh, no. I'll have to ask Eric the Mandalorian about this. Okay. All right, sorry for all that. I was trying to make a fun and reading story, but then it ended up... Kind of a long rant that didn't make any sense? It made sense to me! It was that you... Somebody over here. Oh my gosh! Okay, Ember, enough. <clears throat> all right. Come on, Neocortex, you've got this! That's done. That goes like that. That platform, I'm gonna jump over on this one. I'm gonna blast this fool. Oops. And blast him. That. So I have... What? Oh. Wait, why does Dr. Neocortex grow horns and turn red when he dies? Because he's evil. Oh. It's like a... It's a joke about going to the other place, although he wouldn't be going up. He'd be going down. Just saying. Yeah, I used to have a girl in my... Uh, choir, and every time people would talk about that, she would just call it like downstairs. Well, yeah, because nobody really wants to, you know. Yeah. How? How am I supposed to even reach him? Oh, whatever. I mean, but can you believe people thought I was Mother Teresa? Oh my gosh, you're back on this again? I'm just asking. Do you think? Can you un believe that people in the 90s would not know what Star Wars is? Only the circle of people you hung out with. No. Nobody knew what it was. No, honey. You you were in a no. backwards little I, town. I'm serious. No, I went to sleepovers in... Right, right. You were you were in, like, super Midwest. No, like, the town you lived you, in. No, you you don't understand. Like, I do, because I have, I have friends and people that I knew in grade school that knew what Star Wars was, because I got called... 
Luke that Skywalker awesome. my whole life. You must have been on a different Earth than me because nope. when when I used to go in grade school, me and my brothers actually went and um, we slept over at this one person's house that was like a pastor, like um, um and like his kids and uh, like my parents' kids, like were hanging out together, and we had our what like the heck? we had our like amazing collectors' items, like uh, basically. What are they? Empire Strikes Back, um, sleeping bags, and the guy who we were at his house asked us what they were. Was it Gosh. some kind of gerbil? He didn't know what Ewoks were. Or anything. Also, how did I have Ewoks on an Empire Strikes Back sleeping bag? You didn't. You had a Return of the Jedi sleeping bag. Oh. What the heck is going on? Oh, Maybe okay. my town was weird. Super backwards. Yes. Okay, so how far is he going to come out? Okay, he only comes out that far. Whoops. Mm. Sorry for... Um, no, it's fine. It's just that was a long rant. Sorry. Or whatever that was. I was trying to explain something. It's hard for me to explain things. Okay. You're fine. So would you have rather lived in a backwater town that didn't know what Star Wars was? So that you wouldn't have people always saying, Luke, I am your father. <sighs> oh, sorry. Maybe that's not the right time to ask. I don't know. I mean, everybody knew what Star Wars was. Everybody knew what The Princess Bride was, too. Like, when I was growing up in school, everybody quoted Star Wars, The Princess Bride. Um, let's wow, see. I Indiana Jones. I never had any kids in my class quote any of those things. Because most of the people in your class were hicks. No offense, but when I came to Illinois, the people that I met, like, they didn't share any of the same interests. No, they didn't and they like didn't, movies or anything. They like, didn't know anything. They, a lot of the kids that I grew up with and, you know, teenagers, etc., like, their conversations would consist of, let's go to the mall or let's go to the burger place and just hang out and just talk. And, I mean, that's kind of nice. I mean, I guess it's good that they don't watch movies so much, but basically people just hung out. There were people in my town that went cow tipping and stuff. Exactly. Hicks. <laughs> Sorry. Whenever I talked to video games about people, they just brought up NES. They, they were just... Um, yeah, it's like they weren't... It's like they weren't even aware that, like, there were other video games besides that. Right. <clears throat> oh great, so this is gonna be very intense. But Luke, I am a hick. No, you're you're more cultured now. You're no longer a hick. You were a cute hick, but But I was no reading a lot of books, so I was totally cultured, Luke. No. What? Nope. You were not pop cultured. You were cultured cultured, but not but I wasn't pop cultured. Pop cultured, no. Which is the only kind of culture that matters. Correct. Darn it. Okay. Oh my gosh, that's super annoying. So I have a question then. If I was so different than you, why did you like me? I'm in love with you. Why? You're beautiful, smart. Naive. You're making me feel weird. Naive? I'm not naive about anything. Not anymore, you were. Oh my gosh. What was he trying to do? Oh, great. He got. Now I gotta play as her. Yeep. Uh... But yeah, but then when the new. Are you back on this again? Yes, you are! My gosh! Wait, what? Is that death? Yes, that's death. Fine, I'll keep it to myself. <gasps> Why do I always have to have the last word, apparently? I don't know. I think it has to do with your upbringing. Oh my gosh! Oh, I think... 
Oh, fine. I'll just talk about what... It does not have to do with my upbringing. What are you talking about? I don't know. You've always had to have the last word. That has nothing to do with my upbringing. Okay. I could talk about your upbringing. My, my upbringing was weird. We'll go into that. I'll go and talk about that. Right, so we have to jump over here. And then... Oh, my gosh! Oh, did I do it? I did it. Okay, now we gotta oh, go upside down. be cute. Forget it. You are cute. No. One, two. I don't have to have the last word. <gasps> okay. Cool. Uh. Oh, okay. I was overthinking that. So now we run over here, and then jump here. And this one is gonna have to be jumpy, 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 jumpy up, jumpy, 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 up, in, down. <gasps> and then when he comes over here, there we go. All right, there we go. See. Now I'm starting. Down. Over. 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 Up. Boom. Jump. Oh, for the... He did that on purpose. Down. Over. Shoot. This game... Over. 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 Up. Boom. Jump. What? Unbelievable. This game is so mean. Mm. So does anyone want to know a fun fact about the zombie apocalypse? Which zombie apocalypse? The one that's going on right now. As long as you don't get us demonetized. No, I was just telling Luke like that. Basically, I went by McDonald's to get a coffee because the line for Dunkin' Donuts is way too long. And coffee costs maybe half as much at McDonald's. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'm there at McDonald's and there's a huge sign out front and it says, If you work at McDonald's, you will get $200 extra just for agreeing to work there. Mm -hmm. During all this stuff going on. Is it a one-time 200 extra, or is it 200 extra paycheck? No, it's a one-time thing for signing on. But I guarantee you within the contract, they're going to say you have to work there at least 60 days to get it. Mm-hmm. I guarantee you, because there's no way. There's no way that you can just sign on for one day, get $200, and then leave. Because I really thought about that. Mm. What? I'm a beast at working at fast food. I'm great at it. I never said you weren't, but kind of have, uh, you know. I just go into beast mode. Right, but then just like never mind. Those we have we have bag. a job. We have a job. Oh, I'm saying I know what. I'm if we didn't have this, yeah, go for it. But we have this stuff. So. Oh my gosh! When I'm when I'm working like at a some kind of like food service thing, I'm just like. I feel like I'm in the Marines or something. It's like, let's go, go, move, move, move. <laughs> oh my gosh! How can you have that much nitro? What in the world is wrong with you? Okay, so then I have to... So I'm very nervous about my stream today. That's probably why I'm talking so much. I'm trying to take my mind off. It'll be fine. I'll be there I right with not you. I'm not gonna be fine. I don't even know what system we're playing on. PS4. I've already said uh, that. I know, but like, this isn't the PS4 Tomb Raider. It is a PS4 Tomb Raider. There were multiple versions of Tomb Raider. There was a Tomb Raider game that's Gauntlet. What rating is it though? T. Okay. Dang it! I'm just getting very stressed thinking about the bear. And there's no bear. Can't guarantee that there's Yeah, no bear I can. It. It's old school Tomb Raider, so think like were or wolves. What? Yeah. Wolves. There were wolves in the original. Mhm. Mm <sighs> you punker! I don't like with you with your laser guns. My God! No, you don't get hit. They just jump on you and eat you. Oh. That was classic Tomb Raider. But no, you're not playing classic Tomb Raider either. There was a, um... A Square Enix has been the one responsible for Tomb Raider for quite a while now. So what they did is they made a, um... Oh, gosh. Maybe not spin when there's nitro. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. 
<laughs> oh great, this fun house again. Good times. Die. Hate you. Ugh. You know what's weird though? Even when I grew up like in that like very like very like town that hardly had anything in it at all. Hicksville? Oh please, there's a lot of people that grow up in small towns that watch. No, that uh, that in particular was Hicksville. I'm I know, not but saying other people. Everybody is no. thinking that you're think saying that about them. No, I'm not. I'm thinking that, and it's. I'm me I'm feel thinking sad. about the town. I wish I could say right, the name but of. Everybody else thinks you're talking about their town. Now they don't because I just clarified it. But so you know chill. All the other places. I have no idea. Maybe you say that. I've already clarified. Okay. I'm talking anyway, about Lucas the town that Amber and I are from. Particular town. There's a lot of towns like that. But I already clarified, so okay. your point is irrelevant. I, I'm not trying to... What? Did I say something wrong now? Mm, not really. Oh. You're fine. Relax. I, was, mm. I didn't mean to... Honey, you're fine. I Chill. don't even remember what I was talking about. I have no idea what you were talking about. You're Sorry, going on and on about thing. something. Ta -da. Well, I was going to say, even though I grew up in that town... Mm-hmm. Mm, I remember I always would get tons of movies from the library and watch them in the morning mm -hmm. before school. I used to wake up at four in the morning so I'd have time to watch a movie. Yeah, I, I do remember you being up very early. That's because my family would always say that I wasn't allowed to watch a movie until I had my homework done. And I had so much homework. And when I came home from school, I was so stressed. So I really didn't want to do my homework. I wanted to de-stress, but I couldn't. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times I would just play Sonic until I slept, and then I would go to sleep really early. Mm -hmm. Then I would get up super early in the morning, watch a movie, and then I'd have an hour to do my homework before school. After my movie. So I cheated in life. Makes sense. Not really cheating, but it, I have to do something happy to do something sad afterwards. That's weird. Why is it weird? It just is. I have to cheer myself up why. before I do it's something just... mm -hmm. that makes me feel sad. Okay. What? Okay, here we- Whoa, 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 what is this? It's slime. Ugh. That's not gonna be good. Basically think of it as pink ice. That's what I'm thinking of it as. Wow, this is really hard to maneuver on. Or you can think of it as- gold. Oh my gosh! Ooh, those things look weird. Well, what I didn't understand though is like, um, like my brothers, they weren't always in all the honors classes I was. They were in some of them, but a lot of the, like, a lot of the homework that they had, they would. Like, I know they didn't do their homework, but they would just tell my parents they did their homework, and then they got to hang out. All guys were like that. And then I was, I didn't want to lie, so I said I didn't do it yet, so they got to have fun every day, and I never got to have any fun, like... Well, you got to have fun when you got married. Yeah, but... Oh, uh, you, you can do whatever you want now. But even if I have homework, they'll still allow me to have fun? Yep. But okay. well, you're not in school I mean, right now, so... I guess I get so... to decide for myself, because I'm uh -huh. not, like... Five years old anymore. Correct. Okay, okay that's weird. <gasps> what the heck? Okay, this is stupid. This is very stupid. What? Ugh. Okay, so wait for that. What? What is that? That's death too. Okay. All right, that's done. Oh my gosh. Oh. Well, that was nice of them. Yep. Uh-oh. Oh no, it's gonna be one of these levels! You're on a weird... Ah! You're on a monster. What the heck? Yeah, I see it now. You're on a squirmy friend instead of a firmy, furry friend. It's a squirmy, slippery friend. It's a slippery friend. Oh gosh. Oh my god. You know, I'm just gonna go- Whoa! It looks like a newt or something. It looks like something. Amphibian. <gasps> oh! Just to dodge that. Not fail. It's it looks like a dragon sounding. newt. Yeah. Looks kinda like a dragon. 
I mean, it's hard to run on the slimy stuff. Those so. things look like eels. Okay, that was random. Oh, something randomly fell off our shelf. That was really weird. Looks like toilet paper or tissue paper. Can't tell. Looks like tissue paper. That's a random place to have tissues. Gosh. Excuse me for not organizing. No, I don't think it was you. I'm saying I must have put it there. What the heck? Yeah, something randomly fell off one of our shelves. That was weird. <sighs> These camera angles are nuts. Oh my gosh! It's insane. Oh. Checkpoint, checkpoint. Yep, I got it. Thank you, sweetie. Woo! Let's not do that again. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. <laughs> oh my gosh. Whoa! What? Oh no. You know what? Let's let's not and uh, do this instead. There we go. Let's not and say we did. Uh. Whoa! <gasps> no! Oh gosh! What? You oh. have to jump. You you fell through. The yeah, I, I I saw that. Thanks, honey. I get it. Okay, Even in Japan, like they have these huge newts. That would probably be the size of whatever you were riding on. That was kind of random. Well, I mean, it looks kind of like an amphibian. Yeah. Nice. I think, like, I heard that people, like, have to wait for them to well, cross the street or something. <gasps> Don't like this. You know when newts are supposed to be, like, the salt size of your palm, of your hand? That's how big they usually are. What is so going it's on? It's very here? unusual for them to be so Whoa. deep long. Okay. Thanks, Sonny, for that random fact. <gasps> oh. I am not... Hopefully... There's no more platformer games we're playing this year, right? I don't think so. I think that's the last one till next year. Mm. Pretty sure. There's no, like, crazy platforming game coming out to the uh, PS5. We have action games, like ninja games and... Yeah. Some other no, stuff. No, I didn't mean to... You're oh. fine. You're fine. You're fine. I'm sorry. You're fine. Part of... You're fine, don't you get? I don't understand. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Dang it! What is that? Some kind of psychotic butterfly? I guess you have to slide under him. It's the only thing I can think of. I'm actually somewhat nervous to go back towards... Like, oh, I think there was a checkpoint on the ceiling. What? I think there was a checkpoint on the ceiling. I'm really sure that box said C on it. Hmm. I could be wrong. I slid underneath the fool! I think you have to go where the mangoes are, or whatever kind of fruit they're called. I know that people say they're a different kind of fruit. There! Oh, that's a question mark. That's a question mark, sweetie. <sighs> Ooh. But if we keep dying like this, guess what? A checkpoint will appear, because the more you die, the more the game's like, we're putting on Super Kong mode. Yeah. We died by falling up. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Metal Storm! I, I think the reason why I get worried is because, I don't know, I know we're probably going to end up going towards Illinois again, so I'm going to have to get back into my Illinois mindset. Nope, you just have to be in the Luke, or, Luke Amber mindset, which is, guess what, because when I moved to Illinois, I still did all the same stuff that I enjoyed when I lived but in New York. there's nothing to do there. Like, there, there's nothing, there are no, there's no, like, I, well, actually, there's okay, nothing. Okay, here, let me tell you what, what's going there's on. There's nothing to Amber, do there. Amber, Amber, we have Netflix and Hulu here, and Crunchyroll, and Amazon Prime. Guess what we'll have in Illinois? The same stuff. <laughs> yeah, but you can't go out and, like. I don't go out anyway! But I like going out and doing things. I like, I like going out to <sighs> the theater, and I like, um... They have, oh, no. they have movie theaters. No, they don't. Amber, we're not going to the backwater town we came from. We're going somewhere else. It's close by there, though. Well, kind of. No. Within hours of it. It's several hours. Okay. Just... It's going to be at least two or three hours away from that I town. Just, I'm already having kind of like withdrawal now because we used to go to this really cool IHOP that we would go there from 
Money. That was Massachusetts. It was open until two in the morning. Right. It was really good. We food. lived. We we were on the outskirts of Boston. Of I know, course, but there were things there open. Some really nice things, and now. Yeah. Right. Now, when we try to go to IHOP, the food isn't as. Good. We're in the Midwest. And it's open. It closes at like five p.m. And right. It's open. Right, honey. We live on the outskirts of like a Hickville town here but in it Pennsylvania. It doesn't feel the same, and it's like right. all the stuff that we used to be able to. Do. Then what you're saying is you want to live in an East Coast place that has things to do no i have to i want to okay. be there for my family i know so then we'll be there for your family for like i don't know five ten years and we'll move somewhere else i i i don't feel comfortable living somewhere permanently i've moved so much as a kid that you know after five or six years i have to move again well we weren't there for five or six years from your family we were there for much longer yeah that was the longest i've well no the the town that you and I lived in was the place I lived in the longest. Uh, it was pretty close I, between that and Boston. Well, I'm just saying. Oh I, my gosh! I I am having withdrawal from like when we lived like near Boston and stuff like that. We used to there was always something open. Right, that's East Coast. There was always 24 hour things open. Yeah. So three in the morning when we were done streaming, the reason why our streams were so cool is because we were like, let's stream this, and at three in the morning we're gonna go out and get some, you know, other stuff. Like we're gonna go out and do something. We're yep. gonna go out. Like it was completely fine because it wasn't like I was up in the middle of the night. I remember when we first moved to Pennsylvania, I was like, this is so peaceful and nice, and then like, and then we were done streaming one time at two in the morning. I was thinking, I'm so hungry and. I want to go out and get something to eat because we've been streaming oh my all night. Gosh. And then I was like, Luke, everything closed at four. And there's nothing open. Yep. And then I was like, I don't understand. And I told you then, like I'm telling you now, welcome back to the Midwest. But why don't they just, they could just have more jobs if they kept things open longer. Then more people could have something to work. They could have more jobs and people could make like more money and stuff because there would be open longer. Because everybody, like, probably wants to go out at 3 in the morning, right? No, they don't. Honey, we, oh. we lived in a young entrepreneur area of Boston, where most people our age were, like, um, doing different kinds of jobs. You have ba people doing the same mundane jobs here. They all work 9 to 5. They, you know, they see their wife a couple times a day, and they go to sleep, or they watch a movie, and start their day over again. Well, what if they want eat the same thing on Sunday? You what know. if you want to do something different? Oh gosh! Like, what if you want to do something different? Though? Then you don't live here. Oh. You have to live in Boston, New York City. Maybe Chicago would have things to do, but Chicago's not a safe city. Yeah, so. Well, when we've been visiting there, it's like. Um. I know. I feel like it, it's. I don't know. I feel like there oh, must gosh. be some good thing. Like, there must be some things there. Yeah. But I just... It felt like a lot of things closed early in Chicago, too, though. Mm, depends Maybe. where you are. <laughs> whoa! 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 <laughs> this level should be almost done, but it's not. It's just a checkpoint! What's that weird alien thing that looks like an alien killer looks butterfly? It's like a killer, killer alien butterfly thing. Oh my gosh, how am I supposed to keep track of all this stuff? Oh. Yeah. This is great. This is great. Good times, game. Well, the good news is we're going to get a checkpoint closer now because we're almost at 25 deaths. Hooray. Yeah. Uh, and just so everybody knows watching this, we're not going to be able to get the secret ending or the bonus level, so just enjoy the series for what it is. <laughs> Our series will be ending whenever the official story what? ends. There, there'll be no additional content for this game. Except for maybe Amber and I will verse each other in a little fun battle mode. I'll get the secret ending. No, you can't I'll, either. I'll play through it and nope. get it. Nope. Why not? Because as tense as you are watching this, you'll be a lot more tense playing it. Amber literally shifts in her seat when like something happens. Uh, That's because I'm. You're gonna die again, and. Uh, thanks for the encouragement. <laughs> I appreciate that. I'm trying to be. I think this guy's gonna kill you. Oh. Nope, I dodged him. 
Whoa. That guy looked like a... a slimy lion. Yeah, I think that's what he's supposed to be. Kind of like a slimy lion guy. Mm. Oh my gosh! Those are like floating sea turtle things. Oh my goodness. Okay, please don't eat me. Okay, well, so I mean, go to the it's side. not so bad though. I mean, Princess Bride is kind of overquoted anyway. Right, but I'm saying the town I came from in New York knew what Power Rangers was, X Men. They knew about uh, all the popular movies. They, you know, the current so video different games. Different than what I grew up with. Right, it was a normal East Coast town. I mean, even though it was technically, I came from a backwater place in New York. Like the the town that my dad was a pastor at had a population of like 120 people, but it was near a really big metropolis. Like it was outside of oh, Albany. So it was like near a huge. The place. town was was a dumpy town, um, and our our school was joined by like several other districts of New York. And you had to drive 45 minutes to 50 minutes to get to a grocery store. Oh but in town, we had a deli, we had a library, we had Mr. Pete's Rental. You had a deli in We town? had a deli, yep. So that's most... I grew up eating mostly deli food. Like, because... That's why you like cold cuts so much, then. Correct. That's why I like cold cuts. I got you cold cuts, but I don't know if they went bad already. Okay, it's okay. We get paid soon. No, it's soon. not, though. Yes, it is. I, I want to save the money. I know you want to save the money, honey, but it's... I'm never going to yell at you for cold cuts expiring. I'll just wait till I get paid again. It's not a big deal. But I... I got them for you. Maybe I'll be the... <laughs> oh, my gosh! We're going to have 30 deaths! But yeah, I grew up like eating like once, uh, I think it was like once, like usually we would have fresh cold cuts every, every, uh, there was what, there's usually four weeks in a month or three weeks, three and a half, something like that. So there's four weeks in My dad would get paid every two weeks and with his paycheck he would get, um, deli food. So there'd be cheese, turkey, ham, bologna. And then they would, you'd have to go, there was like this, it wasn't a grocery store, it was a gas station called Stewart's. And in Stewart's, um, there would be like, that's where we would get our ice cream, that's where we'd get a box or two of cereal, whatever they had for that day. Because you never knew what they were going to have. So you guys, oh my oh, gosh. You, you've got to either jump on that tiny one or you I'll try to, going for the tiny one this to, time. But you have done it before and you've missed the tiny one. Well, it's it's hard because I can't control the speed of the guy. Oh, actually, yes I can. I can make him run faster. All right. Excuse so, let's me. let's try the small ones first well, and then we're going to speed him up. I think it's going to work with the small ones. Look. Um, okay, now I ran did too much. I ran too much now. I wouldn't do the small ones cuz you have tried to do the small ones and it's so yeah, make sure you speed up and slow down. I will try. But I don't like- I want to cook things at home. I don't like- Gold cuts are too expensive. I don't like that. Okay, relax. I'm not relaxed. You're making me tense, which is making me die more. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh. Okay. Oh, why am I making- yeah, you are, because you're, like, sitting there all tense-like. <gasps> oh, come on! Why would you have so many stinking platforms?! It's probably the only time I'm gonna get to do that! I feel like we grew up on two different planets. No. Every culture, every, every town has their own unique feeling to it. I grew up in an East Coast, yeah, East Coast town. You grew up in a super Midwest town. Nothing wrong with that. Our differences is what makes us unique. You bring some like, you know, uh, small town charm, and uh, I have kind of the city stuff. Well, that's what makes us an interesting couple. You have two okay. different, two different, yeah, two different perspectives on life, more or less. Okay. All right. All right. There um, we go. Sorry, it's hard for me to understand. That's fine. Mm.
All right, let's not do that again. So okay, I'll talk about something. Before else. we were doing about three levels a uh, three levels a whatever episode. Now we can barely do um like two an episode because this game, guys, it's getting very hard for me. Like incredibly hard. All right. Oh. So anyway. Uh, join us next time for a hole in space. I'm done playing Crash because I'm, I'm about to throw my controller through the uh, TV. Oops. But um, stay tuned later today for an awesome uh, live stream on more of uh, probably Super Mario. And we're doing Ultimate Selects currently. Quite a few of those. And uh, we yeah. hope you guys are enjoying the G.I. Joe series. That's a lot of fun. More fun than this. And uh, yeah. yeah, we'll see you with your live stream today at 6 o'clock. God bless and happy gaming. Yeah.